Hi guys, Phil from Aquatech here. Now by now you would have heard that Apple has released a new phone, the iPhone 11. Not only one phone, but we have three new phones to suit in the Axis Go range. Today I want to tell you what those options are with the products that are already available on the market in the Axis Go range. Now this isn't a review between these models and the previous phones. There's some fantastic ones out there on the internet already, so find those ones which really go into those specs about the cameras between these models and the previous models. Today we just want to show you what your options are as of today. So today to help me with this video, I've enlisted the help of one of our great female ambassadors, Kate Myers. Hello. Kate is not only a fantastic photographer, but she's a fantastic storyteller, educator, and a really valuable asset to the team. So it's great to have you here today. Thanks for having me. First up, the biggest question we've been getting lately is what are my options with the new iPhone 11 models? So the short answer to that is we have you covered straight away. You can get in the water today with what's available in the Axis Go range. The iPhone 11 works in our Axis Go XR housing. The iPhone 11 Pro works in our Axis Go XS X housing. And the iPhone 11 Pro Max works in our Axis Go XS Max housing. So there is one really important point that we need to make straight up, and that is that the new ultra wide camera on the iPhone 11s will not work in the Axis Go. Now I know that's disappointing to a lot of people because it is a great new feature, but basically the positioning of this lens and also the super wide field of view will render that you either cannot see it through the standard lens on the port, it's gonna be covered. And even if you had that off and you had one of our standard domes on there, the lens is so wide that you're gonna actually see inside the housing with that. But it's not all bad news. Mm -hmm. There is some good news, which I'll pass over to Kate tell you about so we've got the the iPhones have already got the ultra wide angle lens built into them uh, but to order achieve in order to achieve that same look with their access go we use the standard setting on the phone and we use the accessories that access go already has so we've got the standard ultra wide angle lens and the dome ultra wide angle lens as well onto the access go now and this afternoon we'll show you some examples with and without those access go lens accessories just to show you those comparable views as well so although the ultra wide angle lens doesn't work in the housing, the tele lens or the two time zoom still works just as normal, uh, allowing you to get those really tight shots and zoomed in shots. And also it's worth mentioning that the portrait mode on all three of the phones will work as expected as well. So you can get those nice uh, kind of blurred backgrounds mm -hmm. um, by utilizing either the tele lens or the standard lens in the new phones as well, give you that same portrait look as well. Um, the new swipe gestures yep. on the phone are also, uh, they work as you'd expect, allowing you to access all those new controls on the phone by either swiping up or down, giving you more manual control. Also the front facing camera, which has been improved now, mm -hmm. so you can shoot 4K video with the front facing camera or slow-mo, if you want to take some slow-mo <laughs> selfies. Uh, also, but it's worth noting that it does go wider when you oh. tilt it horizontally so you can still get that same view with the axis go mm -hmm. so i'll be sure to show you some uh lovely selfies this afternoon absolutely <laughs> and just show you about that wider view as well so although apple have added some really great features to the phone they've actually taken away the burst mode which is like really important for axis go users which enabled us to create a whole sequence of shots um just by using the volume button yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what that burst mode allowed users to do was to basically hold down the pistol grip from the Axis Go and hold that down and shoot a burst or a sequence of photos. Um, but you can't do that now. Thanks. Uh, what we can do is access that through the touch screen on the back and you simply drag down on the phone icon. Okay, so sequences, you go like that. We're gonna test that this afternoon and just kind of give yeah. you some feedback on if that's an option, how that works. Um, other than that, there are some great apps out there we hope that you can still use mm -hmm. to access um, the burst mode through the volume. If you do know of any of those, be sure to leave them in the comments below or let the staff know and we can share that with our community. Um, and if you're a developer, please develop that app for us. <laughs> uh, we would love it to be able to still shoot burst through here. So hopefully there's some options out there. Whoa, <laughs> there's some wildlife here. <laughs> <laughs>
This afternoon we're going to go out here at the pass. Um, I've got some friends that are coming down to longboard for us and yeah, we're going to test out some of the features, uh, see how the portrait mode works, the telephoto uh, mode works and we might shoot a bit of video. We'll see what happens. And we'll share some of those images with you. Yeah. <laughs> give you a little recap. <laughs> okay, so we're down here, we've got all these choices. What do you want to go with first? I think I want to try the 11 Pro Max first. Okay. Uh, just with the standard lens. Okay, no yep. worries. Yeah. Um, so that's going to need the Axis Go XS Max mm -hmm. housing. Um, and I'll let you load that one up. Sure. You can go for it. I'm going to go for the 11 Pro and I'm going to use it with the pistol grip still. I'm going to try just like pop off some shots with it. Also start, stop, record, test out that function a little bit. And I'm also going to chuck on the wide angle lens uh, just to give us a different point of view now with this kind of strange light and try to get a little bit of action for now. the change with the burst mode actually doesn't feel too bad in the water. It's a little bit tricky at the start because you got to hold down and you want to take photos but it start, starts and stops video. That actually feels pretty nice. Um, the swiping down feature, it actually works really well uh, due to the touch screen. It doesn't have the same ergonomics as a pistol but it definitely, like it's responsive and it works good. You just got to get used to it I think. So that's a wrap guys, we were able to test out some of the phones and the Access Go housings this afternoon. Um, Kate, how'd you go? With yeah, yours? It, was, it was really fun. I feel like I was shooting a lot on portrait mode, um, but it, the capability of like really easily changing between all the modes is like great. Um, and yeah, the telephoto worked really well. Um, yeah, it was cool. It was cool to just to like experiment out there. Yeah, I'm excited to see the photos that I got. <laughs> yeah, we haven't actually checked out any of the shots on, um, you know, a computer or anything like that yet. We just had a look in the surf, and like, I just found like everything with the new phones just felt a little bit snappier. Yeah, yeah like switching definitely. between modes and being able to go like you know photo, video, things like that just mm -hmm. seemed to work just a little bit faster. Yeah. Between it. Yeah. Um, the whole thing with the pistol grip and the burst mode, it actually wasn't too bad when you're out in the surf. Mm. Um, I actually really liked it for video. Yeah. Being able to hold it down to shoot video. and then take it off when you want to stop. It felt pretty natural. So if you're a video shooter, I think that's an advantage yeah. rather than a hindrance at all. Yeah. Um, and the whole swiping down to shoot a sequence, um, obviously you don't have that same one-handed kind of ability to do it. But I found myself kind of holding it and swiping it down with my thumb and it seemed to work really well yeah. in the surf. Um, I used the wide angle on the 11 Pro yeah. and you know that gave me that nice wide shot mm. um, you are obviously limited to just having that one kind of wide point of view yeah. of shots um, it wasn't ideal conditions for the dome no. out there at all so I just used this uh, the standard ultra wide yeah. which has the same optics um, and yeah I, I was pretty impressed with how it all worked and everything you know the touch screen and you know turning the phone powering off powering on everything yeah. was seem pretty seamless yeah. in it yeah so if you do want to jump in the water with the new iphone 11s mm -hmm. any of the three models uh, we have products as of today that will work as you've just seen today mm -hmm. it's a little bit confusing as kate will, <laughs> kate will back me up there but um your options are and we'll have something at the end which will clearly explain these options yeah. as well um if you're going to use the 11 pro which is this one here you want to get the Axis Go XXS, so for the 1010S, that will work with the new 
11 Pro. Yeah. All right. Um, if you are going to use the 11 Pro Max, like you used this afternoon, or just the standard iPhone 11, you need to get the Axis Go for the 10s Max 10R. Now this housing actually ships with a spare set of bumpers, like this included, which allows you to use either the bigger phone or the yeah. smaller phone. So it's a little bit confusing, <laughs> as you will understand, but there is an option um, to use any of the new phones as of today. And as I said, we're gonna link at the end with a clear make chart. <laughs> yeah, make it simple. Yeah. Um, so if you do have any questions, be sure to hit us up. Yeah. Um, our staff know all the options and have you covered. And if you have anyone that's asking about the new iPhone 11, um, share the video, let them know, help, help them out, mm, share the info. The and um, hopefully we're going to get Kate back for a few more videos. Sure, I'd have love it, to. <laughs> have her testing out some more equipment down yeah. the line. And um, yeah, like and subscribe as always. It really helps these videos get out to more people and helps the channel grow. Yeah. And hopefully we can um, help you out and see you in the water soon.